today let's see how to extract or fetch data from mysql database without actually refreshing the web page basically we use jquery method here to fetch the data from database and some php to format the mysql data into json object or json encoding i have included my script here custom script the wherein i write jquery script so now connecting with the database mysql underscore connect is a standard php function to connect to our server server name is localhost username is root and we don't have any password so i'll leave it blank next i'll select the database there will be many databases in our mysql console so we need to select the one upon which we will be working i'll select a database uh, let me call it as company okay let's see how to uh, actually create this database i'll save this file as db dot php now let's open php my admin from our local host and then create a database called company so we have our database called company inside that i'll create a table called info which will have two fields name and age well let me make this three including company and instead of let me make this table name as uh, people because we have people information name age and company age and the company in which this person works of course name and company will be in varchar age in integer save this so we have a company database inside which we have a table called people with three fields name age and company let's connect this php file to the database company before that let me add some data into the table that is people people table insert into people people is the name of the table values we have three fields namely name and age and then company name name is satish my age is 25 and i work for the company technotech go so one tape one record has been inserted now i'll insert another record kiran 28 works at oracle let's do it once more so now we have database company inside that table people inside that we have three records name age company are the fields of our table so include once connect to the database that is company which we created just now so once we connect to our database let's query to our table that is our table name is people select star from people which means all the fields name age and company will be fetch once we execute this query that is sql statement select star from people so this executes our query also check what to do if the execution fails for those tutorials please visit technotip.com and the php category 
so we have a variable called result which is an array we don't have any array elements yet we loop through this result and then store these values inside the variable result we have array underscore push let's see what other functions we have array pop product and push okay we will do array push that is we insert values inside this variable array variable result first parameter is the array name next store the values that is fetched from the database with key value format that is the pairing of key and value so key is name fetch the name from the database which will be in row of zero assign it to the name now age is the key assign the actual age present inside the database to this key age it will be present inside row of one company info will be present inside row of two remember indexing starts from zero so company is the key its value is being fetched from the database and will be present inside row of two so all these things are pushed into the array variable result now encode this to json format so json underscore encode is a standard php function which encodes to json format so array first parameter is name next is the variable that is all the values present inside that array variable now store this save this file remember this file name fetch.php let's see how the output looks like our file name is fetch.php so this is our json encoded data which is being fetched from our database company so we have an array called result so this is the name result the key it's an array it has three objects which was present inside our database if you remember let me show you satish 25 technotic it's the first object now the second object kiran 28 oracle this is the second object and the third one so the mysql data is being fetched and then encoded into json format which is stored as an array inside with a key of result now let me fetch this data and display it on our index.php with the help of jquery so here goes our jquery script once the document is loaded and then and ready we call an anonymous function and then the shortcut of ajax method of jquery that is dollar dot get json first parameter is the file name to be parsed you know in this case fetch.php we have just seen the output of this file which would be returned to this callback function let me show you once again this is the output which is being passed to the callback function so this is the file being passed and this is the data returned to this callback function we will catch it we will give it a name called data and then process this information that is data if the unordered list has something in it just empty it out 
just in case to avoid duplication here yeah? next loop through all these objects object 1 object 0 object 1 and object 2 remember indexing starts from 0 here too so this data is the first parameter and the array variable name array key name that is result data dot result is the first parameter second parameter is the callback function now select the unordered list and then append the list items which we are going to fetch from this fetch.php file plus is the concatenation operator also please visit previous day video of about how to fetch array elements in jquery that is array elements of json so there is a field called name in all the objects so this of name would fetch all the names present in each object let's add the age information to here okay let's add age and company information to everything i'll change the label and the index it acts just like an associative array here that's it this should fetch all the data from fetch.php and then append it to the unordered list of index.php so all these have name age and company we have extracted all these data using our jquery knowledge now let's see it on the browser remove this and enter okay it has fetched the information successfully from our database all three persons information now let's ajaxify this process i'll write a custom function and inside that i'll call it updates and paste this here now we already know set time out function which takes two parameters the second one being the delay time the first one being an anonymous function inside which we usually call some functions that is some custom function well and also we need to call set time out itself because it needs to call itself repeatedly so i'll just cut this out and then okay i'll just take out this information that is set time out cut this and then make a separate function to it i call it function done paste it here remove this and call let me arrange it and then call itself okay now call done once the document is ready so this should successfully ajaxify your application that is the data is being fetched from the database without the web page being reloaded so all the data would be fetched in real time let me illustrate that so i'll add a new entry and that should be updated immediately 
on our web page insert into people values name age and then company name once i hit go button it should get updated here without refreshing okay got updated without the web page being reloaded so let's see something else i'll i'll just delete the information of kiran and it should reflect on the web page immediately once i hit okay here this should be removed okay kiran information of kiran being removed now i'll remove the information of ragu i'll just delete it and it should go from our web page too finally let me show you the edit operation i'll edit my information change the company to microsoft once i hit go it should update on my web page too this information got updated immediately so this is how we ajaxify our application and fetch data from our database without refreshing or reloading the web page hope this helps for php tutorials please visit technotip.com and php category please share this video with your friends on facebook linkedin google plus twitter etc please subscribe to our blog technotip.com and youtube channel also if this video help you in any small way please don't don't forget to like this video on youtube